I'm married. Been married for uh, for uh, 22 years. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, she's all right. I don't mind her. No major beefs. <laughs> you see people that look on people's faces. Why would he say that? That is hurtful. No, I, I've done some good things in those 22 years. Our, our love has changed, though. It has. You can't keep the puppy love forever, right? It used to be, I remember talking on my phone, in the, uh, my wife on the phone in the old days. Uh, it was the sappiest puppy lovey doggy thing. Did you, like, it was sickening. It was so sappy. It was like, right before shows, it was like, I love you more. <laughs> I think you love me more because I just said that I love you more. <laughs> I don't think that's possible because if you were listening, you would know that I just said that I love you more. <laughs> Make myself sick sometimes. But it's changed now, it's grown, it's matured, right? I was talking to my wife on the phone before the show tonight, and you, you just tell us, it's different now. You know, it's like, okay, honey, I should probably get going. Oh, yeah, I love you. Oh, uh, I love you more. Remember those days when you see that all the time? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> That's a pretty smart things for a small brain guy, though. I'll give you some advice, fellas. Take this one. Um, I used to write little love notes to my wife all the time. Not love notes, and then hand them to her. Here's a love note. I'd make tons of them, hide them all over the house. Right? So she'd be opening a drawer or something. Oh, you love it! Super romantic. It was awesome. Smartest thing I ever did, right? Because I haven't done it in like, I don't know, like 18 years, and she's still finding them. You know? I was like, all right. <laughs> oh, look who's romantic! Hey! Is it me? For sure? Okay. Thought they were gone. I'd take that. <laughs> yeah, I do have some habits kind of drive me crazy though a little bit. I talk in my sleep a little bit, bit of a bit of a sleep talker. I also sleep with my eyes open every once in a while. And I, yeah, it can be a little bit well here's where it gets really creepy. Sometimes I combine the two. Right? Imagine rolling from bed and having me stare at you, you know? It's like, Mr. Jenkins wants more soup. <laughs> I like cheese. <laughs> not a great joke in this corner. I realize that now. I just, probably not the best. Sorry. Sorry. My American sorry. 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 Um. Uh, here's one. Here's another habit she says I have, and and I mean it's probably partially true, but she says that I have road rage, and and to be f and maybe I do, that's fine, but if I have road rage, then my wife's got what I call road nag. I would say, <laughs> just from start to finish, just biggity biggity, slow down, speed up, blah blah blah. <laughs> I'm happy to begin with, but all two blocks in, I'm just gripping that wheel. Right? Get out of the way! <laughs> Gotta drop off the wife. <laughs> It's a very small car. It's a very small. <laughs> Tiny. Tiniest of cars. Oh. Here's a here, true story. We're driving along this bridge. It was the middle of winter. We, uh, we hit this sheet of black ice and we started spinning around out of control on this bridge. And it's a high bridge. You go off into the river and you're going to die, okay? In the middle of the accident. We didn't even know the outcome yet. We're in the middle of the accident and she's giving me the gears about it. And I told you to slow down. What are you trying to do? Get me killed? <laughs> Not initially, but I'm starting to work up to it. <laughs> now, will you please let me finish texting? I, um, and, and, and to be, okay, so that story was pretty much verbatim. Maybe not exactly, but close. The only thing different is her, when I make her voice sound like that, she, it's not quite like that. She, I don't even know how to describe this. My wife doesn't know how to yell. Do you know anybody like this? When she yells, it sounds like she's pretending to yell. But she knows the pitch has to go higher, but she can't bring the volume up at the same time. It's a funny thing when she gets mad and starts yelling. I'm getting sick and tired of this all the time. 
What? What? Are you, are you mad? You're mad, aren't you? Are you mad? <laughs> Neighborhood dogs are like, Aah! Sorry, it'd be like this, I guess. Aah! Actually, that's a llama now. That's a llama. <laughs> um, I don't know why I did that either. <laughs> I just hurt that llama. But here's the thing. I'll make her yell sometimes just so I can hear it because it's funny to me. You know, it's, it's like, Leland, can you help to the boys and, and tell them that it's time to eat? Uh, actually, I was just going just gonna to start something over here. Do you, do you mind doing it? <laughs> Watch her walk to the bottom of the banister. Boys, it's time to eat. <laughs> boys, I said it's time to eat. Hey, honey, stop yelling at the boys. There's dogs gathering at the front door. Yeah. And a llama. Is that a llama? That's weird. But here's the thing. We've been married for 22 years. Wonderful years. I love her very much. Yeah, but we've had... Sure, you can, if you want. But here's the thing. We have had some fights over the years. We've had some arguments. We've had some screaming matches. <laughs> Pretty sure when that's happened, the neighbors think I'm yelling at myself. Eh? Oh, come on, how can you always say that? I say that, can you always do it? <laughs> no, I don't do what you say, dude, but it's not even true. It is true, why would I say it if it wasn't true? You know what, I'm sick of getting yelled at! <laughs> the neighbors are like, Leland's yelling at himself again. And where's our dog? Where did our dog go? Is he over there? Why does he keep doing that? Here's the thing, you guys. I gotta, I gotta get out of here. I gotta finish uh, hanging these plants in the back. Um, just barely started and we started the show, so I gotta finish my work. That's my work visa. It's, I'm a horticulturist. Um, it's the only way I can get down here. No, but I will leave you this. I, I do love my wife very much. I make a lot of jokes about her. I, I do, but I, I, love her, uh, I love her very much. Um, uh, but our wedding day, uh, worst day of our entire life together. <laughs> Horrible day. Just from start to finish, absolutely everything that could, that could possibly go wrong went wrong on that day. And I found out recently, uh, I guess that was my fault. <laughs> um, <laughs> there certain expectations you ladies have, and if you don't tell us, we don't know. For example, when a woman comes down the aisle, when a bride comes down the aisle, fellas, do you know there's a certain look you're supposed to have on your face when you first see her? Did you know that, sir? No, because they don't tell us. How do we know, right? As far as I can figure out, too, this is, this is what a woman wants to see. When she comes down the aisle, this is what she wants to see waiting for her at the altar. It should, should look something like this. Something like that, right? You take that, right? It's a little cheesy, you're probably thinking. It's a little, but you take it over this. This is, this is what my wife got. This is waiting for her at the altar. Look, look something like this.
You guys have been fantastic. Thank you so much. My name's Leland Blossom.